Hello everybody. Today we're going to be doing a little operation lubrication, which basically involves me using this multi-duty complex grease. I don't know what's so complex about it. Looks pretty, pretty simple to me. And those are my finger marks from last time. And we're also going to be using this white lithium grease to spray in. It's a spray type. Um, into some areas that I identified as being in need of some good lubrication. Um, yeah, now I've done something similar to this when I had uh, door hinges replaced. and uh, But that's been a while. Right, let's use my code. And there's a giant freaking wasp or whatever this thing is. Look at that thing. Okay, alrighty. Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right, you flying bastard, you. Let's not let's not get in each other's way, huh? All right. So anyway, yeah. So I did something similar when I sprayed. Uh, actually, well, when I sprayed as well as greased up these hinges, and as you can see, some of the red stuff it's still here. But it's been a while. And I think I do want to use the, the red the red stuff, the one that is not very beautiful to apply and is kind of annoying. But, but I think it does the better job because look, the red stuff is still there. The white stuff is all dried up by now. So, although it may not look very beautiful, but you know, it does serve its purpose. I also want to show you a couple of things here. All right, I'm going to close the door. I don't know if that flying monster is going to get me. Um, but I also got a couple upgrades here. One is this fast charger uh, for my phone. Now we all been there. We all, uh, you know, plug in our phones to charge and then the phone's battery, uh, you know, still drains even when it's plugged in. So I got this high output kind of a fast charger, which uh, I'm using and it keeps the phone charged very nice and well. The only thing is that, you know, I, it's weird. I didn't really use this port a whole lot before and I noticed that anything you plug in here always stays on So I don't think I like that So I'm gonna be unplugging it every time because you know, I don't know if uh, You know, I'm gonna forget or the battery might drain especially in the winter time and then I got this thing Which I think almost exclusively designed for a Lincoln Town Car. All right, I will suffocate in here if I don't open the door uh, I'm filming this the end of April and all of a sudden it's 80 degrees. All right. Ooh. All right. Yeah, time to Time to let some air in. And if that thing flies in here, I'm gonna be in trouble. I don't know. I have a Really weird fear of insects, especially the ones that buzzing striping flying kind. All right So I guess I'm not gonna be keeping this plugged in, but uh, I do I do like it and this is not sponsored I'm not I'm not there in popularity yet to be sponsored, but you know, maybe someday. And then this thing, check this out. Uh, it slides into the cup holder. It's one of these clamp types. And most importantly, it fits my giant phone. So this is Galaxy Note 20 with my credit card thing and the driver's license attached. And the beauty of it is that even with that giant attachment back here, it still fits. Look at that. Boom. Boom. And even though it's a little bit at an angle, it still works. And it's a little jiggly, but, you know, I think all of them are. But it's a lot more stable than the ones you put here in the vent or the clip-on things here that you put a little disc. Or don't even get me started on the suction cups. Those things, I had several of them, they always fall off. Uh, this thing, I mean, you can pivot it, you can do whatever you want with it, you can do it like this. And between keeping it charged up with this and having it here, you know, I feel like a little remote control is here. So, yeah, so there you go. And then the good thing is it just goes, you turn this ratchety thing and then it extends these sticks into the cup holder. So it, it's not coming out anytime soon. And, you know, it does, it does this a little bit, but that's probably its only down, downfall. Uh, you know, but anyway, and then there's a little button in the back, releases, boom. So those are my updates. All right, time to get Lubin. All right, so starting us off with a place that 
doesn't really get a whole lot of attention or love, but it's it's our latch. It's our beloved little hood thing that shoots out, which I've never seen in any other car before and or since. I know Mercedes has something different, like similar under the star that you pull. Uh, but uh, yeah, nothing nothing of that particular sort. And then yeah, this thing, you know, the little mechanism that goes back and forth. I think it needs a little love. Now the negative thing is that it does splash all over the place when you spray it in. So I got some towels with me, so maybe we'll we'll wipe it off. Yeah, so obviously for places that you can't really reach, I mean I could go and get a bunch of this grease and just put it in here, but that's gonna be way too sloppy. And then I'll put some in here. All right, how's that? Uh, got a little splatter there, but I, I'll wipe it off. Yeah, I can see some already. Actually, still looks pretty clean. Uh, coolant, coolant is all there. Good, that means I'm not losing it. Uh, I mean, I'm losing it, but I'm not losing it. Uh, so, all right. Yeah, looks looks pretty good. I will probably need to replace uh, air filter maybe in a few months. So yeah, other than that, looks looks okay. Doesn't look too bad. All right, good. So our first step is done. That's the easy step. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, maybe I sprayed on this side too. I did. I forgot about this. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. It's weird how it goes like through the plastic and everything. Ooh, look at this. That's where my dechroming problem starts. See that? Right there. That's where all the chrome is going away. And then what I have here, that's just a remnant of that, but that's actually right over here. Yeah, that's too bad. But I will replace it. I uh that shouldn't be a problem even for mechanically challenged person like myself. All right. So it looks like I got this situated pretty good. Looks like I do have some of that stuff in here. All right, time to close it. All right, good. First step done. Now, another thing that I wanna do is actually spray this stuff, which I need to be really careful, otherwise they're gonna start dripping all over me, is in the sunroof. The problem that I have here, well, I had here, I should say, is that obviously it leaked. Uh, but it hasn't been leaking. All this thing, all the, the shelf here that I've been checking, everything has been dry, thank God, you know, for, I don't know, eight, nine, ten months, something like that. So all that is good. But, check this out. All right. So right in there, it does look like somebody packed some grease. But, they probably had a grease gun and they did it very nice and, and well. I don't have a grease gun. I have a tub of grease, <laughs> which I don't want to just put all over the place because I feel like my it's going to get it all over my hair. So what I want to do is use some of this stuff and just add to it a little bit. I do. Uh, blah, blah, it actually went into my mouth a little. OK, that's not good. All right. But anyway, I do love me a good sunroof. I use it quite often, even on a day when it's, oh, I should probably keep my mouth, oh, uh, uh, okay. It doesn't taste very good, I can tell you that much. Yeah, so even on a day when it's not sunny, I do drive with the cover off, like with the cover open, so I do. We'll have some good sunlight. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now we're gonna open it. Oh, we're gonna... Okay. No, it didn't do that before. So what's up with this? Uh, 
okay, all right. Good, all right, maybe I'll spray a little in there. Okay, this one, all right, I'll just keep quiet. There we go. Okay. When it dries, it does look a little weird. But as long as it's working and not giving me trouble, I don't care about that. All right, let's see. Okay, so it's actually pretty good. I'll just spray some in the rail, basically. So you see some of the little remnants of whoever whoever did this last, which I am thankful for. And some of you commented about, uh, well, sunroof being a waste of money, you know, they always leak. And, uh, you know, on one side, I would have to agree with you. But on the other side, like, I didn't, I didn't pay to have the roof. Like, it was already here. So, for me, you know, it's not a waste. Like, the car came with it. I'm not gonna tape it shut. All right. So, there you go. Smooth as butter. Okay. I think we got a winner. Okay. All right, good. Whoa. So we're going to be doing some other lubin right now. Lubin and YouTubin. All right, let's let's get these bad boys lubed up. All right, so here we go. Like I said before, I don't know of any elegant way of applying it, so just stick your finger in there. And there you go. Go go to town. Now, ideally I should probably clean off this area. Um, you know, cuz it has a bunch of debris here. It's got um, you know, actually, it's it's a rain channel <laughs> for water, um, but because you know it's kind of all hidden, uh, you know, I'm not too worried about the beauty aspect. As long as the door keeps functioning, it doesn't sag. I think I'll be okay. All right, I'm gonna be doing it right there since one hand is occupied with this tub of lard, the other one is with a finger. I guess I'm not gonna zoom in or anything like or reposition now this roller thing that's just a piece of rubber so I wonder how you know about the longevity of this little rubber piece now it, these are new hinges so I guess not too concerned
All right, so uh, about 40 minutes into this whole ordeal, I think we got a pretty good lubricated town car. So I've shown you under the hood, I've shown you the sunroof, pardon the, the dust because uh, we actually had as recent as a few days ago, it was raining, it was really cold. So I'm not gonna be putting it through a car wash every time uh, I film it since I kind of do this as more of a vlog than you know like an official you know photo shoot or anything like that so the beauty of this stuff is that look I've put so much of it all over the place and there, there I barely made a dent where this can although it's nice and it serves its purpose it's not as longer lasting so check this out I'm not gonna show you there because I mean it's already the same thing so all right I've probably used a bit too much of it, <laughs> but I got lube everywhere. Uh, this I probably, <laughs> I didn't realize when the first time I opened the door how much of it is going to spread all over the place. But, you know, I don't care about this stuff. I would much rather see nice red grease than rust or, or, or God help me if I have to survive another one of these sagging door incidents because I would... I would not, I would not survive another one of those, all the crap I went through. So yeah, like, I understand putting too much transfers it over to other components, but like I said, it's fine. It's, it's everywhere, but because it, it does serve also as a water repellent, so hopefully over the next, you know, I don't know, six, six to ten months, uh, it's going to last me and the town car quite a bit. Now... And my town car, I have the driver's door is obviously number one. This door is number two, as far as the how much use I get out of it. Because you know, as you can see, a child seat. I am a chauffeur to my son, so this door gets a lot of use and abuse. Uh, so all this extra crap that you see hanging off, to you might be ugly, but to me it's beautiful. So check this out. And it's interesting to see, like, I'm looking at all the little mechanisms. Like, look at that. You got the roller that goes, uh, got all the grease stuff. But it's okay. It's nice to me. Alrighty. So, everybody, I hope you like it. I'm not saying that you have to do the same. This is not a how-to video. It's not trying to show you or prove to you anything. It's just to show you what it is that I do. Now, one of these days, I think I might paint my wheels again. And this time I'm going to do it a little different, but not sure yet. I know it's a, it's a big pain uh, to do it. I mean, I've done this before, but uh, before I started doing YouTube videos, so you guys didn't see my master, my master craftsman, but obviously it is turning black here, like, like they all do. You know, you can see the paint is bubbling and the primer and uh, whatever. But in any case, everything else looks good for now. We'll see ya.